Today we're talking about the world's third youngest billionaire, Katerina Anderson. Are you not just dying to hear how she made all that money and what she spends it on? Is it fancy houses, cars, clothes, parties, or unforgettable vacations? Let's find out what she does with her 1.1 billion. It's bound to be just great. Who is Katerina? Born on 21st May 1995, Katerina Gamlenschaug Anderson is a Norwegian heiress. She is the daughter of Johan H. Anderson Jr., the owner of the family-owned investment company Ferd AS. Katerina's great-great-great-grandfather set up Norway's biggest cigarette manufacturing company. In 2005, it was sold for $500 million. The money was then invested in hedge funds and property. This family has received backlash for earning tobacco billions that have helped kill people by supplying their addictions. The family has responded by saying that this is exactly why they sold the company. This all sounds very ethical, although of course they didn't give the money back to their victims. In 2007, her father transferred 42.2% of his stakes to her and her younger sister Alexandra. The money was split equally between them. It's speculated that their father gave them the money for tax reasons, but he at least gave them the money. Their Oslo-based company runs hedge funds and is an active investor on the Nordic Exchange. It also has private equity investments. Their net worth has been made public because of their published tax returns. The sisters are ranked the 1,475th richest people in the world. Sounds good to us. Both have partly received a British education. They attend Forest Sandal Manor Boarding Prep School in Fordingbridge, Hampshire. The school costs 25000 a year. That's not cheap, is it? But Daddy could easily afford that. Katerina insists that her life isn't as easy as it looks. Let you be the judge of that. Let's look at her life. Do you think it's that bad? Her college days. Katerina studied social science at Amsterdam University College. Here, she stayed in a small student room. She was extremely disappointed because it wasn't big enough in her mind. This made it hard for her to adjust at this college. She didn't want to study or even be there. She even flew back home every weekend just to get away. Poor Katerina. That must have been so tough. So why didn't she just change rooms? This girl likes fast cars, but during her college days, her dad insisted that Katerina and her sister should be driving second-hand cars. Poor Katerina. In her own words, I should never complain, but I do miss my longer hair, my big room, my pop art, my clothes, shoes, and handbags. Hashtag student life. Small expletive student dorms. Sounds like a complaint, doesn't it? Most people can't afford college, but she is complaining about storage for her millions of pairs of shoes. Her college years weren't ideal for her because she was constantly dreaming of her vacations. Poor little rich girl. Fashion. 27-year-old Katerina and her 26-year-old sister Alexandra enjoy getting glammed up. Katerina is a prolific Instagrammer who tries to keep up with the fashion trends. She is currently sporting a short, blonde hairdo. People have compared her to Claire Underwood, the Machiavellian first lady in the House of Guards television series. This character is fierce and takes no prisoners when it comes to her critics. Is she Katerina's role model? <laughs> Let's hope not. Katerina simply adores anything Louis Vuitton, Jimmy Choo, or Valentino. She has an entire collection of Louis Vuitton purses. Her holiday-ready Louis Vuitton duffel is worth 1870 She is obsessed with buying shoes. Her favorite pair is the limited edition Louboutin pumps valued at $640. She also owns pearl-encrusted heeled Gucci loafers worth $990. She is often seen in the Victoria Beckham dresses. This stylish socialite also loves Rolex watches. She is often seen modeling fur coats. Guess she's not an animal lover. She makes sure her 34K Instagram followers don't miss any of her outfit changes. She is always seen showing off huge diamond rings. Just to let her followers know that she can afford things they probably never will. Katerina refers to herself as the boss on Instagram. Think a lot of yourself, do you, Katerina? She's also an avid collector of pop art. It hurt not being able to take her art collection to her college room. Most college rooms would be too small for all that artistic treasure. Party girl. Katerina and her friends really know how to have the best time, but sometimes too much of a good thing isn't good at all. In 2017, 
Katarina got fined 27,000 for drunk driving. That's a hefty fine, isn't it? She also got her license revoked for 13 months. Katarina's blood alcohol content was three times higher than the legal limit. She could have killed someone. Katarina and her model boyfriend Mads Madsen are always seen together. He makes a point of doing all the cooking and serving his lovely lady. He also makes a point of doing it without a shirt on so he can show off his six-pack. Childish, don't you think? Katarina believes that Mads is with her for other reasons than money. Here is what she says. It has been important for me when I get to know new people, so that they see me and not the money. I have to see how the person is before I let them get close to me. If she's not with Mads, she's with her rich friends. She takes them on her vacations together. It must be great to be your friend, right? All they do is drink beer, smoke cigarettes, and eat the most expensive food money can buy. They do all of this on repeat. She loves traveling. Katerina is a jet setter. She often goes on exotic holidays. One of her favorite things to do is sunbathe on super yachts. She owns a Sunny Hill super yacht, a chartered boat with 12 guests in five staterooms, and a crew of six. This boat boasts a cinema quality television, fine dining facilities, a jacuzzi on deck, and wood paneled interiors. It costs 53752 per week to hire during these summer months. Katarina spends a lot of time on this yacht with her family, enjoying this luxury life on the high seas. Katarina adores staying in five-star hotels, eating foie gras, drinking champagne for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She insists on having a private beach dedicated to her, her friends, and her family. No one else is permitted there. Guess she's scared they might try to borrow some of her money. Her Instagram page shows some of her favorite holiday destinations, including New York, London, Oxford, Italy, and the Galapagos Islands. Take a look anytime you feel like dying of envy. The tobacco heiress prefers the summer, so when it's cold in the Netherlands, she escapes to sunny countries. Wish we could do that. Sounds like a good life to us. Her wealthy family. Katerina now lives in London, England. The two sisters have five beautiful dogs, including a purebred boxer and an English bulldog, Tycho. Alexandra has a great Dane. Those dogs have struck it rich, too. They have a better life than any of us. Her family home is stunning, too. The living room is filled with elegant furniture. Her private art collection is hanging up on the wall. It must be beautiful. Katerina enjoys being rich. She tells us about her personal struggle growing up rich, but she continues to boast about her glamorous life. Their dad did his best not to spoil his daughters too much. Katerina enjoys the outdoors. She especially loves horseback riding and archery. Her sister Alexandra is a professional horse rider. She lives in Germany and competes in dressage. Her horse Bellamore starred at the European Junior Riders Championships. Katerina gave up professional riding years ago, but she still spends time on her horses. Every time she gets the chance, she enjoys showing off her archery skills on Instagram. Cool chick, isn't she? Katerina sees herself as a philanthropist. This is what she tells us. I could choose not to work and not do some things, but I will take part in the community and look forward to it. Poor Katerina has a strong sense of social responsibility too. Finding a way to give back I think is difficult. The fact that my family has resources has given me many opportunities especially in writing. Don't know about you, but shouldn't she be donating those tobacco billions to lung cancer patients instead of buying herself hundreds of pairs of nice shoes? Maybe she could turn her back on all those millions of dollars one day, but we'll just have to wait and see if she decides to do it or not.